What's up, Blueberries? My name is Alton Hilt, and this is another episode of Learning Dust. Now, this is going to be a little bit different. In this short episode, we're going to talk about fitting skills. As you saw in the Caldari Learning Dust video, and as you'll see in this one, quite a number of the starter suits don't have enough CPU and power grid to run all of the modules that you'll want to use. So, for example, this is a modified frontline fit for Mimnitar. You'll notice that the best I'm able to do is a single enhanced shield and two militia quality shields. And at that point, I've run out of available CPU and power grid. I can't fit anything else in this low slot. I can alleviate that issue by using a Mimnitar medium frame, which doesn't come with any prefit modules. And by removing the grenade, I can use three enhanced shield extenders in the high slots here, which gives me slightly better buffer, but now I'm sacrificing both the grenade and equipment. Still have the same fitting issue. Now with a single point in the medium frame of Mimitar, I can accomplish quite a bit. I get a low slot, and in that low slot I can put a fitting mod and that allows me to use all of my slots, although not as ideally as possible. So I can have my grenade, my compact nano hive, and all it takes is this right here and a point in the medium frame. Now the medium frame does have better power grid to begin with, which is why this works. You'll notice the compact nano hive has both um, armor and ammo resupply, but I have to be careful. A single grenade will deplete this compact hive. So what I'm going to show you now is if you want to improve your fits, you're going to need to start upgrading your drop suit upgrades, your core fitting skills. The first uh, skill to take a look at is drop suit core upgrades. Every level gives you 1% to the drop suit's maximum power grid and CPU. Now if you're going for nano circuitry, you're going to need to have two in it, but it doesn't do a lot. The better ones to get, as far as increase per level, are electronics and engineering. But there's a problem. It's over 500 ISK, or 500,000 ISK, each. So that's over a million ISK you're going to need to unlock these two skills. And if you're a new player, that's probably somewhere between 10 and 15 games. That's a lot of games to play while just grinding ISK for two skills. Now these skills are definitely important. You're going to want to get started on them eventually. So just to show you the effect here, I've transferred some money from my main over to this character so that I can lock these skills and show you uh, how important these are going to be. So I'm going to purchase them. We'll go take a look at the drop suits just to get a refresh our memory as to what the CPU and power grid are. So you'll notice 28 total power grid, of which 27 is used, so one available. And the CPU varies based on the suit, but let's go look at engineering first. So 5% per level. We'll put a single point in to engineering, and we'll head back and take a look at what it's done for our suits, drop suits. So 29, so I increased by one, and this is actually enough to get me the compact nano hive. So since power grid was a limiting factor here, I'm able to go in and add in that compact nano hive, except for this suit. Now I'm using more of my CPU due to the enhanced shield extenders, but I'm only missing it by two points. So if we head back and switch it out, we could always try to get more power grid, but we have I have just enough skill points to do that. But let's go ahead and get electronics. These are pretty costly skills, and they take a, a bit to max out. But even a few points can have a drastic impact on your ability to fit. So we'll come back in here, and sure enough, we can make it work. So this is one way to improve the effectiveness of your drop suit fittings by working on your core skills. Now the three that I've showed you aren't the only ones that improve your uh, CPU and power grid or your CPU and power grid usage, but they are an effective way. So you'll notice here about 4000 ISK. 
when I use the same suit but add my own modules, I over double that to 10,000. And if I go with the basic frame, I'm about 13,000. So be sure to check out the next episode where we play with the Mimitar Fit and use the combat rifle. As always, my name is Alton Hilt, and I will see you in the sandbox.